What's up everyone? I am so excited. I won this in a contest a long time ago on uh, Castle Hives Live and it's a Guardian bee suit. I'm in love with it. I really, it fits so good. I'm so excited. So let's get into some bees. Kind of got into the bees this weekend and I didn't record anything, but I got all the dead outs cleaned up. Over there, you can see there is one hive left that I didn't take down. I have it taped off and closed. I have the, well there's two hives over there. One of them's filled with honey, and the other one is, well honey in frames. The other one is a live hive, but it's doing really good. I compacted it down to one box, and yeah, they're gonna explode. I have a bunch of resources in there for them. The hive next to it, I'm ready for splits, so yeah, we're doing good. I'm gonna go into these two hives back here today. The insulated hive made it through the winter. It was a small hive. Uh, what I did is I put the center piece in there, divided it down so they are a five frame nuke right now. And we're gonna go into the big hive I have and see how everything's going in there. See if they need any more food. And yeah, I'm excited. I wanna get into that one. That one's a big one. And you're seeing this, it would be Monday before this video comes out. So Monday, April 11th because we've had none but rain and cold weather. And then this week is supposed to get really cold and rainy and snow. And yes, 29 for the high, I think Friday or Saturday, crazy. So, but then after that, it's supposed to start warming up and hopefully it stays like that. So my goal with this hive is to get into it, clean the bottom board off because they're gonna have some dead bees. And that's what I did with the yellow ones, just to help them get a start up, uh, jump start on their cleaning. But I wanna see if they got brewed. All the other ones had brewed and a good amount. So I wanna see how these are doing. Solid honey. Urgh. Some more honey. Cap both sides. Oh, this has nectar in it. Huh. Where is your brood, girls? I thought they would have had some up here by now, but it's looking like they don't. Boy, does it feel good to be into the bees. Check one more frame here. Oh, there we go, some brood. And some eggs. So they do have some up and bot down. 
Okay. Good, good, good. Look at all of that. It's packed full with eggs too. So I'm not going any farther at this. I don't have to break open the bottom. This this frame here is solid brood too. Look at this. I have to show you. Look at that. And there she is right in the center. Blue dot. hatch in there and then the other frame is all honey So I'm leaving the Hive Alive fondant on them because we have more cold coming anyways too. And if they're gonna eat it, I'm gonna let them eat it. It's only gonna help them for health reasons. So I'm gonna leave that on there. I think I'm actually gonna go get another pollen patty and I'm gonna put a pollen patty in there to add to this. Just so the next week I know they'll be fine with all this cruddy weather, weather we have coming. So then I know they'll be fine. So I'm gonna go get some of that quick. So this one's frozen, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set it up here and let the sun bake on it for a while to thaw it out. And in the meantime, we're gonna go into this hive, the Apame hive. So this hive, I'll show you what I did, but actually what I wanna do first is open up this bottom, because remember this one had hive beetles last year really bad for me. So I wanna see what this tray looks like. Look at that. A couple hive beetles that were dead because they can't survive our winter. So, and I'm seeing some mites over here from the treatments I did. All right. Let's show you what I did. So, I have a divider here that came with this. So I put that in and I put this back on top just so they won't uh, have to heat so much either and help them keep them in this area. Because if you didn't have this on, then they can go over here. So, and I didn't look at this hive, so I don't know if they have brood or not. This is the only one I didn't open and actually take a look at. So let's see what they got going on. Uh, their cluster is right here, so I don't want to pull this frame. And this is a honey frame I added, so I'm going to take this one out for sure and then probably start that way. No brood there. I really just want to see a little patch of brood. And there's the queen. So this all has eggs in it. That whole frame had eggs. Holy moly. All right. I'm sorry I'm not holding it out. It's because it's only 60 degrees. I don't want to get them chilled either. But nothing capped. It's like she just laid eggs. 
So that's kind of frightening too. All right, push these back together. I have a little chunk of pollen patty that I'm gonna put right there. Hopefully they'll start taking that down. And then I'm gonna put this back in there. And this one on this side. See, then I put this one in there. It's got some nectar on the bottom, honey, capped honey on top. It got some nectar and then capped honey. So I'm hoping this will help them also. And only how I can get five frames in here is with four wooden ones and one plastic. Make sure there's no bees on this side because they'll be trapped. And we're good to go. I'm really liking this hive, or this, this whole hive because this colony was so small when I put it in here that I probably should have put it in a nuke state already to begin with, but I didn't know what I know now. I should say so hopefully with having them in a nuke size now it keeps them warm enough they don't have to heat everything hopefully that helps them and get them a boost and hopefully they just explode but right now this one's not looking so good in my eyes because it's pretty small but she has a ton of eggs that whole frame on the one side of the frame was all eggs so let's just hope that they can uh, produce some bees out of there and get some going all right this one's not frozen anymore well, at least you can bend it and squish it, so we're going to throw it on there.